Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Show update. Now I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director at From Picture to Page, where we're nurturing your creativity with in-person and online events. Now for this week's update, we've got of course our dash of inspiration. We've got all the news regarding all the upcoming From Picture to Page Paper Craft Show events, including the program for the online show. Then we've got an update with the posse as well as some exciting news there. So let's jump in. Firstly, whether you're watching us live or a replay in YouTube or Facebook, just pop in the comments and say hello, just like Kylie has. Let us know if you've got any questions, if you want to share anything, if you want to say hello to all the other crafters. It is such a lovely way to get to know each other in our crafting community. So first up, our dash of inspiration. So this week, I'd like to encourage you to see what you can learn from other crafts. Now on the weekend, I headed over to the Vame Dollhouse and Miniature Exhibition. So Vame is the Victorian Association of Miniature Enthusiasts and they had their annual show in Mount Waverley and it was just amazing to see something that's sort of um, similar crafting skills but also very different as well. There was a huge variety of different scenes, not just doll's houses, but um, vintage scenes, bedrooms, um, flower carts, shops, all sorts of things. And just so many of the crafts and skills that we use in paper crafting could certainly be used in miniature making as well. There was so much about the different layouts, the different scales, the different vintages. So if you're doing something in a particular vintage, how to make sure you've got the features right in the house or the toys right or the dolls right. It was just amazing the level of detail that some of these creative people had gone to. And of course, the great thing about so many crafts these days is that there's great kits available. So if you're not sure where to start, it's a great place to talk to the experts, to get some kits and then dive in and then see where it takes you. So that is my dash of inspiration today. Have a look at some other crafts and see what we can learn and apply them to what we do every day. Now we're very excited to now announce the up the lineup for our picture to page online craft show, which is the 4th and 5th of August. Now it's right here on, live on Facebook and then will be replayed on YouTube throughout the day. Now that program has gone to your inboxes, but also let's run through them now. Hi Patty, good to see you there. So firstly, Friday the 4th of August at 8, at 9.30, sorry, we're gonna do a quick welcome and update. Now this is a chance for you to test out the technology. Make sure you're getting your notifications from the From Picture to Page and Beyond Facebook page. And then we're gonna kick off at 10 a.m. with Natalie May. Then at 11, we've got Jen from Hillbilly Scrapping. At 12 noon, we've got Jeanette from Jcraft. At 1 p.m., we've got Jenny with Create with Jenny. At 2 p.m., we've got Mel from Scrapbooking and Craft. At 3 o'clock, we've got me with Mixed Media Art doing something amazing that I will work out soon. And then in the afternoon, we'll have the Peninsula Paper Craft Boutique and then we'll be wrapping up that day. And then Saturday, the 5th of August, back in the same place with a whole different lineup. Again, we're opening that at 9.30. And then at 10 a.m., we've got Michelle from Snazzy Scrapping. Jen from Hillbilly at 11. Jeanette from Jcraft Craft at 12. Peninsula Paper Craft Boutique at 1 p.m., Scrapbooking and Craft at 2 p.m., Natalie May at 3 p.m., and Handmade Haven at 4 p.m. before we wrap up the day and the show at 5 p.m. on Saturday the 5th of August. So if you've watched our live videos before, then you know exactly what to do. At two minutes before the hour, we will go live with that little countdown and a little bit of music so you can make sure that you're following along, you've got your cup of tea, you're ready to go. And then we'll have a chat with our crafters and then they'll show us a project. And it usually goes between sort of 30 to 40 minutes and then we'll wrap up, say goodbye to them and then get ready for the show. Now the great thing because it is free and live is that you're just as much as part of the show as our guests are. You can use the comments function to ask any questions and our host, whether it's myself or Wendy or Jenny, will be able to ask the creatives and the retailers the questions in real time. So we'll be able to ask what thickness is the cardboard or paper you're using, what colour is that, what brand it is, and all those things that you really need to know to fully understand how to create these projects yourself. So make sure you have that in your calendars Friday the 4th and Saturday the 5th of August for our P2P Crafts online show. Now also we've got many of our favourite retailers heading over to Paperific which is on the 25th to 27th of August at the Flemington Racecourse. Now their exhibitors have been announced so head over to the Paperific website for all the details and see who will be there. Our next P2P Crafts D-Stash is going to be on Saturday the 2nd of September. So again details are on our website, it's at the Community Hall here in Notting Hill, so in central Melbourne and we'll have applications open soon. 
And then lastly, but definitely not by means least, the Peter P. Craft Sandown Show is going to be on the Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th, and Sunday the 15th of October. And applications will be opening this week. So your favourites will be returning. We're looking at some new retailers as well, getting some of our older ones to come back again. Now, if you've got a retailer that you would love to see there, pop it in the comments, or even better, reach out to them and tell them to get in touch. And we would love to find them a spot at the Peter P Crafts Sandown Show. We're also looking ahead of a marketplace, having Planners Alley and some spaces where we can sit down and craft. And of course, lots of places to catch up with friends, enjoy the food, grab a coffee, as you know, it's a fantastic time for paper crafters. There'll be one, two, and three day show passes available because I think you're gonna need all three days. You know, one, you've got to book into classes and have a look around, then you've got to shop, and then you've got to do all the classes. And by the time you do the classes and the make and takes and watch the demos, it's gonna take up more than a full day anyway. So make sure you have Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th, and Sunday the 15th of October marked in your diaries. Tell everyone else you're not available because we need to see you there at the Sandown Raceway. And so Papercraft Posse update. Now Papercraft Posse is our Facebook group where we catch up between events. It's a Facebook group with over a thousand paper crafters and it's such a lovely little corner of the community where we can share what we're working on, ask questions, get in touch with retailers and generally celebrate everything paper crafts. So this week there's been a fantastic influx of new members. So hello and welcome. Please share what you're working on, invite your friends in and generally come and join in the fun. Now this week's shares, we've had some cards made by Chris, Heidi, and even myself. Yes, I did manage to make a card this week. It may be the first card I've made all year. I usually do a lot more art journaling and off the page projects, but I did actually make a card and I shared that with the group. We had Denise sharing her gorgeous 3D tag, which was just amazing to see. We had Trish from Hobby Hoppers sharing her Christmas in July project. We had Jen from the Peninsula Papercraft Boutique sharing all about their upcoming events and activities. Julie from Handmade Haven has shared her upcoming classes. Now they are going to be ones that you will not want to miss. Sharon from Craft My World was letting us know about their upcoming retreat. And we had Mary from Craft Zone sharing their offerings as well. So there's lots going on in the Paper Craft Posse. And perhaps the most exciting news is I know you've been asking but we are ready to run our very first Paper Craft Craft paper craft posse craft to do the first one for 2023 now as always all the details are on the website if you go to from picture to page and beyond .com .au, you can scroll down and click on the paper craft posse tab and that'll give you all the details for our upcoming craft to noon it's going to be held on saturday the 16th of september from 10 until 4 bring your own lunch bring your own craft projects we'll have tea coffee soft drink and snacks available and you can get all the details and tickets over on the website and it's a great chance to catch up with crafters, spend the day getting creative, get inspired, meeting some new people. So when you head to Sandown a few weeks later, hopefully you will see some familiar faces. So that's it for this week's update, a dash of inspiration. Perhaps check out another craft and look at the kits and then see how you can use some of those skills back with your paper crafting. Peter P. Craft's online craft show program has now been announced. For all the details, head over to our website from pitch to page and beyond.com.au and make sure you've got Friday the 4th and Saturday the 5th of August in your inbox. And of course, if you want the downloadable program, which will be available the week before the show, make sure you're on our email list. So go to our website, pop in your name and your email address. If you've already subscribed, it'll tell you that. It's all very clever. If not, pop in your name and your email address and we will send that out to you. We've got our dish dash coming up, our sand down show is all rage, and of course our paper craft posse, our corner of the internet, where we get to catch up between shows and our next paper craft posse craft afternoon on Saturday, the 16th of September. So that is all for this week. As always, please like us, share us with your crafty friends, leave a comment, and of course continue to share the paper craft love. This is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.